So we have a chance for you to interview me and to ask questions. So uh, looks like Graham's got a question already on his little card. So Graham, what's your question? Who's your favorite saint and why? Who's my favorite saint and why? Well, um, I have, of course, a, a devotion to St. Louis because that's my first name. And he was king of France, and he, he worked with the poor, and he loved to work with the poor. My uh, confirmation name is St. Andrew, because he was one of the apostles, uh, and uh, really appreciated him because he was a fisherman. Uh, and then I have a, a special devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, uh, because I was stationed at Sacred Heart in Rockport, Texas for 18 years. So, good question. Thank you. You're welcome. So, we, you have a question you want to ask? Yes. What is it like being a bishop? What's it like being a bishop? Well, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun because I get to visit with you and to kind of spend time with you. That part's fun. And then there's some challenges because I am the shepherd, the chief shepherd of the entire church in southern Mississippi. So I've got a whole bunch of people that uh, are uh, part of my flock. So great question. Thank you. And Catherine? What gives you the most joy in your job? The most joy, uh, part of it's coming to visit you. Uh, and my favorite school, by the way, is what? Yeah. Yes, today, St. Alphonsus is a favorite school. Uh, and then celebrating the Eucharist, Mass, being able to hold the body and blood of Jesus Christ is such a wonderful blessing. And then also spending, you know, time with people has been really good. So, excellent. Thank you for the question. Luke, Luke. How did you become a bishop? Ah, well, I was ordained a priest uh, in 1977 and served in the Diocese of Corpus Christi for many years. And then I got a phone call in 2016 uh, and the Holy Father asked the Bishop of the area of the United States, Archbishop Christophe Pierre, to call me and ask me to be if I was open to being the fourth bishop of the Diocese of Biloxi. And after a conversation, I said yes. And so we scheduled my ordination as a bishop, uh, and that happened in 2017. Uh, and it was a wonderful ceremony at our cathedral. So Archbishop Rohde was the, the uh, ordaining bishop, uh, along with Bishop Mulvey and Bishop Morin. So it was really a special, special moment. So that's how it happened. It's a wow moment, hard to believe. And do we have another question from our grand? So when were you chosen to be bishop? So I was chosen to be bishop uh, on December 6, 2016 by the Holy Father. Father. The Holy Father is Pope Francis. And then I was ordained on April 28, 2017. Good question. And? What's your favorite color? My favorite color. Ooh, good question. Blue. I love blue, but I wear black all the time. <laughs> but I love blue. Yeah. Thank you. Is the church growing in our diocese, and how can we help grow the church? So the church uh, is needing to grow in our diocese, definitely. Needs to grow. And one of the ways that we can do that is for each of you to become disciples of Jesus. Kind of what we talked about in church. Uh, and 
uh, that you bring people to Jesus. So that's part of how we can grow as a church. And we definitely need to grow. It's a great question. Luke, who, did you, who do you look up to? Who do I look up to? Well, I look up to God. That's one. That's a biggie. Uh, and my relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, Pope Francis is special to me uh, because of uh, him calling me to be uh, a bishop. Uh, and, and of course, uh, the, the popes that have been through my life, so, uh, you know, Pope Pius XII, and then Pope John XXIII, Pope John Paul I, and then John Paul II, and then Pope Benedict, all of them have been very, very uh, special. And then some of the saints that we've talked about before, so St. Augustine, St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Ignatius of Loyola, uh, St. Teresa of Lisieux, St. Teresa of Avila, St. Teresa of Calcutta, Mother Teresa, wow, that's a biggie. All those have been really very special to me. So great question, wow, wonderful. And how are we doing, Graham? Um, so, how long were you a priest before you became a bishop? I was a priest for 39 years before I became a bishop. And I've been a bishop almost 40 years. Wonderful question. So, what's your favorite food? What's my favorite food? Ooh. Well... Hmm, that's tough. I love seafood, uh, and uh, I love Italian food, too. Um, that's a tough question. Um, I like, uh, you know, uh, of course, spaghetti and meatballs. Do you like spaghetti and meatballs? Yes. And then pizza. Do we like pizza? Yes. I figured that. Uh, and then we had, for lunch today, we had chicken swarma. Ooh, was that good. That was from the Phoenician. So it was excellent. So great question. Thank you. Do you ever see there being a pope from America? Do I ever see, think there's going to be a pope from America? Uh, we probably, there's always a chance, uh, but we probably won't see that uh, in my lifetime. Who knows? You may see it in yours. Um, most of the time, uh, they, they're going to choose someone from where the church has a real strong uh, uh, following. So that's why Pope Francis was chosen, because, you know, the country in Argentina is very Catholic, and it's also why Pope Benedict, or Pope John Paul II especially, was chosen because of the people in Poland. Uh, so, uh, but who knows? It's all in God's hands. But so, great question. Luke? My last question was, what was your favorite, what is your favorite food, but what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal? That's a good one, too. Well, I love puppies. I love puppies. It's, it's, uh, they always have my heart when I'm with them. Um, uh, but, you know, almost any animals um, are really wonderful. Um, when I've had a chance to ride horses, I love to ride horses. And, uh, uh, Love to be in the outdoors, um, so I love to see the the birds and the fish and the deer and all of the other animals God has created. So it's a wonderful gift. Great, great question. So have we made it through all the questions, Graham, or you still got one? This is my last one. Okay. What is your favorite part about being bishop? So I love to visit you, and I love to celebrate Mass. Those were the two major things, so to hold the body and blood of Jesus. Love that. 
Wonderful. And does Zoe have another one? No, Zoe's got hers done. How about Catherine? What has changed about the church, good or bad, in your lifetime? What's changed, good or bad? Hmm. Well, you know, part of the shift that happened with uh, the Second Vatican Council uh, was that we we really uh, took a hard look at uh, how we celebrate the sacraments and how we teach about Jesus and how we uh, share faith together. And that whole shift has been echoing for the last 50 years uh, in, in the church. Um, and it's part of the reason now we're really focusing on the command Jesus gave us to make disciples. Uh, and that's why each of you are called to be disciples. Each of you. Yeah. And me too. Me too. And Luke, we finished your questions or you did, did another one hit you? We finished, but I can think of one more. Yes, sir. What is your f favorite technology? Favorite technology? Oh, uh, that's a tough one. Uh, I have to use my iPhone a lot, uh, and I use the computer, uh, and I have an iPad. Uh, I like the radio, and there's some shows on TV I like. Uh, um, so that would be the best answer I can give at this point. Um, so I do have an Instagram account, and I have a Twitter account, and then the diocese has a Facebook account, uh, and we do a lot of stuff that goes on YouTube, too. So who knows? This, this whole thing may end up on YouTube, too. So who knows? Well, you did great. Wonderful. So let me give you a blessing. So the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Graham. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you, Catherine. And thank you, Luke. Use the force, Luke. Use the force. God bless you. Thank you.